About a year ago, I reviewed the Litter Champ. Since then, they've made a couple of improvements. Well, one big improvement. So I thought I would try the new one. I love new gimmicks. If you recall, uh, in my older review, one of my major complaints was the fact that it didn't have a handle. So I had uh, ended up finally screwing a handle on the back, which was just a uh, strap. It worked, worked okay, but you know, didn't look all that great. You now have a great handle. It looks very sturdy. It's very nice. Uh, lifts up pretty easy. This is actually f this is actually full right now. I've just about done all of my litter boxes. Um, other than that, they've changed a few um, of the colors. Looks a little slicker in a way. It comes with a scoop, which is a, a good sturdy scoop. I don't care for it, um, the way it hangs and that sort of thing, but I can see some advantages to it in the way that it, they've um, built it with these little tabs on the back and the shape and everything. So depending on how you use your litter champ, you step on the thing and you push it down and uh, with the little knobs on the back, I can see where there would be an advantage to the shape of this scoop. However, I'm using my old scoop uh, because I actually use it a little bit differently. I'll show you that. And it hangs on the side a bit better. The other, uh, of course, I've always ends up jury rigging things to meet my own particular way of using things. I slide mine around a lot. I push it around a lot, trying to reposition it as I'm carrying it from litter box to litter box. It comes with non-skid feet on it, which makes it hard to shove around. So one of the first things I did is uh, put on these little slider feet so that it slides around. That's not Everybody's not going to be interested in doing that, but that's what I do. The other thing is, is that, and I'll show you how that I use this, pretty much like I did last time. For a year, I've been fussing with how how to keep this lid open. Um, that actually works pretty good, but it's sort of, you know, as you carry it around, slips and all, um, this clip will slide. This is, I tried a number of clips, I tried all kinds of things. I had actually envisioned this handle perhaps holding it up, but that did not work out. When I got it, I could see that that was not the case. Um, then, then it just occurred to me this last time after fussing with that for a year that a really easy solution is just to shove the handle, shove the something in here. It could be a block or anything. So the alligator clip goes in there, and then when I store it, I just clip it onto the thing. So anyway, we'll get ready to go here. We'll do a litter box that needs to be done here. Okay. Grab my tool off the back. Got the lid propped up. Stick in the litter box. If you think here. Rather than using the scoop to push this down, I still do end up tending to sometimes make a mess if I throw things around rather sloppy, but just use one finger to push down the side, the front there. This is why I, I like the lid popped up, it's simply because of the way I do things. It's very handy for the occasional when you're just dropping something in during the day to have the foot pedal, but otherwise it's nice to have that lid propped up. Yeah, the lid locks for no good reason. This is this is a diaper pail basically, and it's designed so that kids can't uh, stick their hands in there, which is not the case here. But it is handy to have it locked shut. You can wipe it down, and then you pull out the brace, and we're done. You can pick up. And off you go. Nothing new about emptying it. 
It's the same as, as it was before. Got a little slider slip here. Open it. This is a two days worth for all the cats. Pull it out, get it up so that you can tie it off. Cut it on the little cutter thing. Right here. Tie off the bag. Make sure you tie it off here too. I did forget that one day. And I will probably never forget this tying this off again. Okay. There's the new litter champ. Just a few tiny improvements on my part for my own specific use.